Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome, if you're here for the first time, but if you've been around these parts uh, uh, <laughs> before, welcome back. Uh, right, let's get into the conversation today, which is all about alignment. Now, this word is literally falling out of people's mouths in the self-development world. And it's quite a recent thing, I think. I think the word alignment was very much um, suited to just people who were chiropractors, for example, and they would be talking about the alignment of the spine and the skeletal structure, which clearly I know nothing about. Um, but in terms of alignment, um, I want to give you some thoughts and feelings and exercises about this because I think it's a bit confusing sometimes. Kind of like one of the conversations around manifesting that sometimes people just think you put it in a notebook and like off we go and it arrives on your doorstep the next day. And again, that's another story for another time. But let's talk about alignment today. The way that I see alignment, it's a feeling. It's a feeling for me. It's a knowing. It's an in instinct. And it can be a, a, a cheese board, a multicolored disco ball of all kinds of things. Sometimes when I'm in alignment, I feel very grounded. I feel very settled. It feels full of ease. Um, it's just, it's comfy. And it's like, a, it, it's kind of like sitting under a blanket near a really warm fire and having your favorite drink and watching something brilliant on the TV, maybe on your own, maybe with your loved ones. I love either or, to be honest. Um, and it's just that sort of satisfaction, warm, cozy, contented feeling. And sometimes alignment shows up of, ooh, that, oh yes, yes, that feels like me. Yes, yes, yes. And sometimes you don't know where that feeling has come from. It, it feels like it's almost just landed in your lap. And for some reason, you are drawn to that thing. And um, there's like, there's a, it's like magnets coming together. You feel that sense of like, oh, I don't know, uh, I don't know why, and I wasn't expecting this moment. Um, I guess it's kind of like when I met Matt, you know, 17 years ago. We'd never met properly in person before, but yet I felt like I just knew him. I felt, and we went through all of these questions like, where did you go to school? Who do you know? Where did you grow up? Or all of these things. And we worked out that we had been at a few parties um, around a similar time together. Uh, that makes me sound like some sort of like London it girl. I, I promise you, I absolutely was not. Um, but we had never met. But there was a familiarity. There was a sense of like, oh, I, I know you. And uh, bizarrely, when my mum met him, she said exactly the same thing. Like, yeah, he's exactly as I thought he was going to be. Yes, that makes total sense. Anyway, I digress. The thing with alignment is that I think it is getting too much conversation around it of this assumption that when you are in alignment, everything makes sense and everything is there. You know how people talk about the perfect time. I'll know when I know and the perfect time is here. And when we talk about perfect times, we might think about like this, this moment, this Instagram snapshot of like, yes, great. The moon is in the right place. I'm in the right moment of my cycle. I've got two weeks to do this. Da, 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 da. And actually, I know that when I think about alignment, there are two things going on. There's the alignment of, I know where I'm going. This feels like the right path. But what could also be happening at the same time is that where you currently are needs some work. And needs some work feels like it's going to be an arduous experience. But basically what, what your current situation might be is 
quite far away from the decision that you need to make. And there might be things to do. So, for example, last year I did a 10-week acting course. And when I got that email into my inbox, it was a full-bodied yes. I need to do this. Let's go. How do, how do I apply? And it was a long process. You had to complete all of these forms. And the alignment that, yes, this is the right thing for me, was crystal clear. But then the reality of that was me going, but how am I going to do this? And it came, the questions came across all areas. So firstly, it was a logistical, like, okay, it's 10 weeks, it's three hours per night, plus, um, plus uh, rehearsals, plus learning lines, sorry, the light is a bit weird, um, plus uh, learning lines, plus uh, researching, plus reading scripts, all of these sorts of things. Because also, when I say yes to something, I don't want to be able to, I don't want to hold back, like I want to do the thing. And I don't want to, to use the technical term, half hour something. I want to go, I am doing this. I I mean, I'm fully in. So there was the logistics first and foremost. And then I was thinking like childcare, what if something comes up? What if I can't do all 10 weeks? Because they really wanted you to do that. Uh, Then some fear came up of like, well, what if I... What if I'm not good enough or what if I embarrass myself or what if I forget my lines or um, all of these things? Um, Then I was thinking about the money, you know, this was an investment. So I was thinking, well, what if I, I don't know, maybe I should be working. Like if I've got an extra 30 hours over 10 weeks, maybe I should be creating income. Maybe that's what I should be doing in that time. And so there were these two things going on alongside each other. One was, I knew what the aligned yes was. I knew what the future self was saying, like, no, 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 come and do the course. This is exactly the right thing for you. But sometimes we have to look at the current situation and pull it apart and uh, unpick it and keep that vision really, like, at the forefront of our mind. Because there will always be something or someone who needs you more in that situation. And so many of us, especially if we're parents or carers or we're doing lots of things, um, it can be so easy to just keep putting yourself to the side and not following through on what it is that you want to do. And playing small and saying, no, but what if? Or I've got to make sure that every single box is ticked before I move forward. And I remember two years ago, as of now also, when we didn't know if we would be moving yet. We were waiting for the final pieces. Uh, There were about three pieces outstanding before we could actually exchange and, you know, do the next part of the process. And after those three things were ticked essentially and we got to that point of exchange I had to have that inner knowing of okay we have done everything that we can up until this point and we have worked with all of the information that we can and I think this is important to say when you're thinking about where you go next in terms of your business because we can always listen to that voice within us that will say that's a bit risky or are you sure about that that's a lot of money you haven't spent that kind of money before and we can really let that voice be the loudest one there and yet what we have to do is to get to that point where we say okay so Yes, it is a lot of money or yes, it is going to take a lot of time. But in terms of the bigger picture of where I'm going and what I need, this is the step that I need to take next. This is the thing that I need to work through. And sometimes that is an income thing. It's like, yeah, I know what my future self wants me to do. But my current money situation or my time situation is not in support of that. And so today is a real invitation to firstly explore what does alignment mean to you? 
Where are you going? What are you building? What are you trying to create? And then noticing how you can move forward in full support, essentially, of that future self. I think there's this assumption that we're just going to wake up one day and we will automatically be our future self. And we will if we if we you know not to sound morbid but if we get to live on the planet more years more decades great but how you operate as that future self is dictated by what you do right now um to close up the acting conversation the 10 weeks was the be- one of the best things i did of 2023 and i'm going to say my life so far Because it would have been so easy to say no or to do a smaller version or to say I was too busy or childcare or all of these things. And I'm not going to lie that at times it was a bit of a logistical nightmare. It was a lot of late nights and early mornings. It was a lot of flying by the seat of my pants going, oh my gosh, I've got to learn this script. How am I going to do that? Right, what do I need to do? It was a lot of that. It was a lot of moves. It wasn't plain sailing. And again, I think people say these things of like, just make a decision and the next step will appear. The next step will appear and sometimes you won't want to take that step. Sometimes that step will need to be taken really, really slowly in order to open the next bit for you. I hope that has been useful. I would love to know what came up for you today. Your thoughts about alignment and going back to where you are right now I want you to get really clear on the help and the support and the areas you need to focus on in order to be in alignment of that future self thank you for bearing with me with this funny light uh lots of love and I'll see you soon bye